In part B of this problem, we want to draw the current along the transmission line versus distance z at time t equal 5t over 2, which of course is equal to 2.5 capital T. So two and a half times the amount of time it would take the wave to propagate down the transmission line. So that means we're going to get V1 plus, and that's the first capital T. Here's the second capital T. We're going to get V1 minus, and then for the next half, for the 2.5, so for the half, we're going to get the V2 plus wave to propagate halfway back down the transmission line towards the load. So we are going to need some reflection coefficients. We, in order to find the reflection of V, uh, the value of V1 minus relative to V1 plus, we need the reflection coefficient. I'll, f I'll calculate it usually uh, using the voltage reflection coefficient, and then we can quickly find the current reflection coefficient. So this would be RL minus Z naught over RL plus Z naught. We can plug in the values given for RL and Z naught, and we get a value of one half. Then for the generator side, our reflection coefficient for the voltage at the generator is RG minus Z naught over RG plus Z naught, and plugging in our numbers and simplifying, we get one fifth. So then from this, we can get the current reflection coefficient, which is just minus the voltage reflection coefficient, so it's minus one fifth. And on this side, we'll get minus one half for the load. Then we just calculated V1 plus. So we can get I1 plus from our answer to part A, V1 plus, over Z naught, same as you would have for, same expression as you would use for a resistor. So we can plug in 6 volts for V1 plus over 50, and we get 0.12 amps for I1 plus. Then for I1 minus, we take the current reflection coefficient at the load, and we multiply that times the value, the amplitude of the wave incident on the load, which is I1 plus. So at this point we have, um, I put V1 plus here, but what we're actually calculating here is I1 plus, so I could also put I1 minus. So what we have is we have the value of I1 plus, it's 6 volts, and at this point we're going to multiply it by the reflection coefficient so that we can get this I1 minus value. So that is um, minus 0.12 over 2. Yes, here we go, this one right here, minus 1 half. So we put in this value, 0.12, and we multiply it times minus 1 half. And that gives us minus 0.06 amps. And then for I2 plus, we're going to take I1 minus, because that's the wave that is propagating back towards the generator. It's the wave that's incident on the generator side, and it's going to reflect. So I'm going to take I1 minus, and I'm going to multiply by the reflection coefficient of the current at the generator. And plugging in our numbers, our reflection coefficient is minus one-fifth, and I1 minus is minus 0.06, so simplifying we get 0.012 amps. Now we can plot this. This is versus Z, and I'm going to label this as being I versus Z at time 5t over 2. And we know it's propagated down the transmission line all the way to Z equal L, the uh, I1 plus waveform. So over here in this region, we're going to have I1 plus plus I1 minus. And over here, we're going to have a value of I1 plus 
plus I1 minus, because it's reached all the way back to the generator, and I2 plus. So this will be cleaner in the solutions that are posted, but we're going to get something like this. This has a value of 0.06 amps once we put all that together, add all those three together, and this will have a value of 0.072 amps.